Hey, welcome back to the tutorial. In this lecture, let's learn about how to run the MCU with full speed by clocking the MCU using PLL. Now, to produce the clock using PLL, you have to configure all these parameters. All these parameters we have to configure in the register called RCC PLL configuration register. Now let's target for 168 megahertz of system clock. When your system clock is running at uh, 168 megahertz, then you can run H clock and P clock at their maximum operating frequencies. Please remember the HB1 clock is also called as H clock and the APB clock is also called as P clock. And for the PLL, we will use HSE as the input clock source because PLL needs an input. Either it is from HSI or HSC. Let's use HSC as the input to the PLL. Great. In PLL, the VCO, which stands for voltage controlled oscillator, is the one which boosts the frequency given to its input. And as for the reference manual, the input frequency to VCO must be between 1 to 2 megahertz. So we will use this prescalar value PLLM to divide the HSC by 8 so that the input frequency to VCO becomes 1 megahertz. After that, use this prescalar PLLN to produce the VCO output frequency. As per the formula, the PLLN can take the values in the range of 192 to 432. So the VCO output frequency is equal to VCO input frequency multiplied by PLLN. So you have to choose the suitable value here to meet our target 168 megahertz of system clock. After that, use PLLP prescalar to divide the VCO output frequency to produce the system clock frequency. Since our target is 168 MHz, let's choose this divider as 2. That means we have to produce VCO output frequency of 336, isn't it? 168 multiplied by 2. We know that input VCO frequency is 1 and output VCO frequency is 336. Hence, PLLN must be 336, which is in the valid range of 192 to 432 for PLLN. Great. Now we got all the values of PLLM, N and P. PLLM is equal to 8, PLLN is equal to 336, and PLLN is equal to 1. Let's program all these values in the PLL configuration register. In this code, first I am enabling the HSE clock and making it as the input source for the PLL. After that, I am configuring the values of PLLM, N and P into the PLL configuration register. Then I just turned on the PLL and wait till the PLL is locked or ready. After that, make PLL as our system clock. Great. At this stage, MCU is running with full speed of 168 MHz using PLL as the system clock. These codes configure the prescalar values for HB and APB buses. You know that HB clock, also called H clock, should not exceed 168 MHz. So I am making the prescalar value as 1. So HB bus will get system clock divided by 1, that is 168 MHz. Next, APB1 bus clock should not exceed 42 MHz. So I am configuring the prescalar value uh, which divides the system clock by 4. Next, APB2 bus clock should not exceed 
84 megahertz so i am configuring the prescalar value which divides the system clock by 2 so i just configured uh, these prescalar values for the buses please refer to the rcc clock configuration register for all the details then by using this code i am outputting the system clock on mco2 pin now you have to prove that system clock is indeed running at 168 megahertz but how do you do it to measure such a high speed clock you need high frequency logic analyzer if you have it at your desk then go and measure it using mco pins as discussed in the previous lecture if you don't have a high speed logic analyzer then you have to find out a way to prove that sys clock indeed running at 168 megahertz so i will leave this as an assignment to you if you don't find the way just reach out to me i am always there to help you that's all i wanted to say about uh, pll configuration and how to generate uh, different clock frequencies by using the settings of PLL M N and P and how to generate a system clock at its fullest speed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.